Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today's I came up with a very uh, real-time scenario. Okay, uh, this is something like you also will face in sometimes if you are working on the Power BI. Okay, so this is just a sample. It could be any data. It could be very list huge data. How to tackle it, and how after the solution I will tell you that how to verify also whether it's working or not working. Right? Let's get into the solution. Let's get into the, get into the the question the question is very simple so i have a product table here i have a couple of product id and their sales okay and another table is there which is called the list which is list of only the four products out of the 14 products i have here right what my client requirement is that i don't want to consider this product id when i'm loading data so this product's ID should not come into my product table at all. Okay, it is there, but I don't want to showcase here. Okay, so one way is that you can do that is that go to the product table, click on the merge queries, and uh, select your list, product, product ID, and do a lab join. So whichever is satisfied, it will give the records. If it is not satisfied, it will give the null. Right. So let's put a OK here. So it will give you the output as a table. Now expand this, okay, and expand the product ID. Now if you see whichever is present on the list table, it is giving you. Uh, otherwise, it is null, right? And we want to filter only the null record because these are the P3, P8, P9, and P10 are available on my list table, okay? So in this case, I will say the product ID only I should consider only the null records. Then I can delete this column and I am I'm, I'm okay with that. So that is gone excluded. But instead of that, another very interesting join we have in Power Query, which is not there in any of the database. Okay. So that is called the left anti join. No need to do all these things drama and all. So automatically it will take care. Let's see. So let's. I'm just excluding this step merge queries as well. Now what I'll do from the product to list, I will create a merge queries here and click on the list. I select the product ID and I select the product ID from the list. And instead of the left, right, there is a called left NT rows only first. So whichever is there on the first table, that only it will show you. It will not consider the second at all. Okay. So that is the rows only in first. Whatever the rows I have in the first table, that will consider it in whatever the rows I have in the second table, it will not consider immediately. So left empty. So only four rows excluded because these four rows are not available on my first table. Simple, right? Done. We are done. Okay. That's it. No need to do. Automatically is taking care. It is not considering my P3, P8, P9, and P10. If you see. P3 is not there, P8 is not there, P9 is not there, P10 is not there. This is the quite interesting solution if you try with the left NT join. Okay. But here the problem is, okay, you are doing it because it is a very small set of data. So 14 rows are data. And we saw that, okay, out of this 14, minus 4, it is 10. Just imagine that, suppose you have a millions of records. And out of that, suppose you are excluding around uh, 2,000, 5,000 records, right? We don't exclude. We done a left engine. It will work out. But how we can verify that, right? That is interesting thing. So what we will do in this case is that. So this is source. The navigation changed. Right? Up to here, this is my original data, right? Okay. On this, I select this step. I go to the transform tab and select on the count rows, okay? I say insert a step for the count rows. So here it is showing me the count as 14. So just note it down. Suppose here you have a 1 million. Okay. You have a 1 million. Right. So now just delete this. After your merge queries. Okay. Select the merge queries. Again put the count rows again. So it is 10. So let's imagine. But in the first record, it is 1 million and you are excluding 2000. So you need to just minus it and you need to say that, okay, this count is correct. Then only we can verify that, yes, the left entity join is working. Okay. This is the way you can do. This is a pure real-time example. Okay. 
please 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 do subscribe to this channel i'm i'm putting very like interesting content i'm trying my uh, others other sources to like uh, to create some uh, beautiful scenarios okay so that will come up okay please please do subscribe to this channel for more interesting content like this and uh, have a nice day thank you bye bye